Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Glam Polish Patekfris <laughs> and Queen Fairy Tale Lover 01. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and here is Glam Polish. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. This is such a ugh, polish. It's one of those that just, it's got so much bling and shine and shimmer and oh my gosh. This would probably be great for an accent nail, but you know how Tina does it. She makes all of them accent nails. <laughs> Being sure to cap my free edge. And here we go with our second coat. And I don't think I'm pronouncing it right. Pectrificus? Pectrificus? I don't know. Pectrificus totalis. It's all good. I still love it. There it is, all on its own with some quick dry top coat. We're going to seal this one down. I am using that Pro FX quick dry top coat again. I will use it until all of it is gone. If I ever see it anywhere, I'm snatching it up. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Look at that. Blingtastic. And there's a swatch photo of it all on its own. I am going to use the Burt's Bees Cuticle Balm today around my digits to protect. And the Preen Fairy Tale Lover 01 Beauty Scraper and my AliExpress Stamper. I'll be using Brave's Diva on the black. Here we go. So I'm going to put this image. This image is on my thumb already. My practice nail. And I'm going to put it on my ring finger as well. I wanted something to, you know, really distract, and this is doing it. <laughs> I'm cleaning that stamper off on a lint roller, and I'm going to use this other image on my other nails. Just kind of mixing it up a little bit. I don't play with my queen items very often because one of my friends has, has a major issue with queen. They've had um, serious issues ordering and and uh, getting cheated out of stuff. So uh, I don't use mine often because I know she doesn't like it. But they are items that I purchased with my own money. And since they are in my collection, occasionally they will make it out here. Now this one doesn't take up in the one corner. And I think I'm okay with it at first. But you'll see later I have to go in and do some patching on two nails because I just couldn't take it. So here we go. We're going to do another one here on my pinky nail. And watch this. You guys aren't going to believe this. It's not like I really wasted that much time. Doesn't take it all. So we're going to have a meltdown and remove this with some tape. <laughs> Actually, it's not too bad of a meltdown. I would have melt down if I had to redo it. But I am going to apply some of the Pro FX Sticky Base to this nail and do my patch or my redo, not a patch, a redo on this one because I want that image to stick. So we're going to clean that plate off one more time and do it once again. covering about half of that image just to make sure I've got enough on there. Here we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> Yay, it worked. <laughs> so I'm going to go on and do my cleanup. I'm doing my cleanup and this is when I realized that wasn't going to work. That empty space, there's a little bit on my pointer nail on the tip and then a bunch on that middle nail <clears throat> and I just decided you haven't top coated yet and even if I had I still could do it so I'm gonna run down this one side because that's the part of the image that didn't take I'm gonna pick that image up and clean up the excess real quick a little piece of tape at least I'm trying to be real quick you know sometimes when I try to be quick I make mistakes but Today I actually get through this one pretty well. So I'm going to line this up over here on the side where I was missing some image. 
and I'm just going to plop it in. Yay! Mush it down. And now for this pointer finger. I'm sorry I'm going to get off camera because I'm really trying to look at that curvy side of that nail. And there we go. We got a little bit more on that one. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to top it with the IMK Peel Ease. This works great as a smudge-free top coat. I learned this from Gigi's Nail Art and Stuff. Or Gigi's Nails and Stuff. I'll have a link for her down below. And now we're going to top it with the Posh Top Coat. But as you can see, that Peel Ease worked great to seal that image in without smudging it. Thank you, Gigi, for sharing that tip, because that's an awesome one. I am capping my free edge with the top coat. And here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.